Okay. I had a little snack, had a banana. And uh, I guess we'll play now as King Wilhelm of Germany. So we're over our domain limit, but we're also 13. So I'm assuming we'll come of age soonish. We did lose... Uh, we did not lose our weak claim. We still have a weak claim, but I think that... Actually, we could just press this right now still. We could. Yeah, there's nothing stopping us, but I don't think we have nearly as large of a levy as our father did. What is it? I asked the guards. You have inherited this engraved sword from King Otto. If you want to keep it, we'll store it for you, Master. It might need some maintenance, though. What? All right, so I guess instead of, like, losing your artifacts randomly, it, uh... Makes you pay? I mean, that's almost... Th I paid 100 for all three of it, so... Yeah, I guess whatever. Whatever, please don't destroy my Impaler, though. That would be awful. Had a loss in succession. Um... Let's see... Let me have to set crown focus again. Nominate a successor. We'll go with, um, not our uncle. He's got some issues. Cough, abdominal pain, headache. Probably just go with our brother. Why not, for now? Okay, um... I'm kind of tempted to declare war on this for, for Italy. I mean, our levy could be better. We, we did just switch to this thing, so we've got, like, short reign. Um... Duke of West Frisia desires the county of Zealand. You know, I don't really even want Zealand anyway, and we are over the limit temporarily, so... Looks like our, our regent is not giving us enough stewardship to actually raise our domain size. I probably should have actually passed the uh, low centralization law previous character as well. I'm just going to get rid of Zealand. We'll give it to the uh, the Duke of West Frisia. That will help him to like us better and potentially give us more possible levy. This all seems fine. Assign a tutor to get the smarts. We do have an educator. Uh, are you talking about the the tutor role? The tutor role just automatically uh, is the default educator, but it doesn't have to. Like our educator is this guy. We're getting trained up in the intrigue. Twenty intrigue, huh? I mean, we could make the court tutor maybe someone with military skill, because I th I do think leading battles and stuff is a lot more fun. Apparently there are no eligible martial educators. None that are any good anyway. Hmm. I guess we'll just stick with uh, the one we have. It's still pretty much just whoever has the most troops, yeah. It's always been that way in CK2. Very rare, like, there are some weird little things you can do with retinue, and you can theoretically... Uh, have like this crazy retinue composition that can kill you know, 10 to 1 odds and stuff, but it's so ridiculous and impractical that it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, hold a summer fair. Why not? We need some prestige. Apparently you have to get all the way up to like 5,000 prestige now for the max opinion bonus. And I think I'm actually going to change our rally point from Magdeburg instead to like the center of the country, like right there. I can scroll. Oh, did I miss the scroll on the uh, thing again? Shoot. Yeah, that's easy to misread. My bad. I thought that this was all that we had, but there's actually more available. So there is a brilliant strategist, the uh, the siege leader that we imported. He's Greek, though. Greek Orthodox. Ah, let's try it. I'd, I'd really like a military education.
What society did we join? We didn't actually get to join one with the previous character. And now we're not old enough yet. Matthew of the Lothringian Revolts. Dangerous Revolt is broken free. Or broken out, rather. Nice. Raise troops right in that army. Cool. That's a good spot for it. You know the spy master apparently already. Uh, I'll go with that guy. And like, seriously, could you go spy? Stop getting caught. Or whatever it is. Is this going to be uploaded to YouTube? No plans for that, no. Just peasants. I'm gonna fight the peasants. What do we get? 200 prestige. Very prestigious. Very nice. Now retinue needs plenty of time to reinforce for a while here. What are we getting? Raided? That's not really ideal. Alright, how much longer until Italy's kid comes of age? Or on January 1st, it's currently April, so we've got less than a year till he becomes an adult. And then our weak claim I don't think will be pressable. It is right now. And we do have... 7.5k versus... 8k. It'd be a tough war. But even if we lose, because we've attacked, we would be pressing the claim and it would make it inheritable. He just has non-aggression packs, so we can't call anyone in. I think we declare. Let's just see what happens. Claim strength determines when you can use the CB. Strong claim you can always press. Weak claim can only be pressed against regencies and miners and Bastards and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna claim Italy. Council is four at four for th four versus three. Apparently we we lack a uh, what an advisor. Uh. Okay. To war. This will be fine. We might lose. The empty spots for the ruler? Hmm. I have a weird way of phrasing it then. It makes it look like there's a spot that's not in existence, right? Like you've forgotten to assign it. But they're not raiding my land, so I guess we'll just let them raid. Let's go focus on our war. To get the uh, the actual ticking war score is going to require us to siege down, like, what, all of Italy. So we're not going to get a ticking war score. Hopefully we'll be able to win just by having better commanders um, and just better brains. We'll take the siege leader and let's focus on stuff that he holds personally himself. First, so that would be he owns this and this and this and this. So we're gonna just march straight to Cremona. Your favorite part of this campaign is where Otto died in a duel because of a bar brawl. I'm still quite upset about that. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart racing, and my whole body is feeling strange. What am I really dreaming about? The boy, obviously. <laughs> what would? What would it be like to hold him? If I see him again, we'll have some fun. Hell yes. Lusty homosexual. Awesome. <laughs> That's the best event. I love it. You just you just get to choose. You know, they say it's not a choice. They say you're born that way, but not in this game. In this game, it's a choice. You just get to decide. Am I gay? Yes. Definitely gay. All right, has your levy increased due to the war? Not really, about 8k, but it'll be a tough fight if he actually comes to fight us and he's got a couple of hundred troops more, you know? Extra 500, 600 troops could actually make all the difference. When our birthday comes up in two years, uh, we'll stop having this domain size penalty, I think, because we can get married, get our stewardship up. Duke. Oh, that was a weird death sound. Duke Arnulf of Franconia has inherited the Duchy of Franconia and other titles from Duke Eberhard. Duke Eberhard died. Wait. Wait. 
The old drunk died? I didn't even get to duel him? Damn it! God damn it! <laughs> I didn't get to avenge my father. <laughs> he just... I will take it out on your son. Duke Arnulf of Franconia. I want to antagonize him. We need... Yeah, I mean, obviously, we have to just murder his entire family line. That's just what you do. Clearly. Well, it looks like he just turned 16, so he's got a fancy hat. Look at that beard! He went from, like, like a six-year-old boy, just like us, to beard man. <laughs> that's what happened when I turned 16. I don't know if that's what happened when you guys turned 16, but... Duke Wilhelm has created a duchy, okay. Keep focusing on the personally held stuff. We can apparently compose a book, okay. 200 gold to compose a book. I'd rather not. All right, army of Godofred of Italy, 6,474 troops. He is crossing a river. Right now we have the siege leader in charge. We might want to swap in someone with better stats for the battle. I think so. Brave. That's a morale defense. If I remember correctly, the... the the math on, like, Marshall score for choosing good tactics was, like, 8. 8 to 12 is, like, the minimum range, I think. 8, anything below 8 is real bad. Anything above 12 is, is good. 12 or above, I think. But well, let's just take the, uh, 15, just because he's got higher overall number. I don't want to go into the files, but... I mean, he's, he's taking this fight, so I don't know what's going to happen here. You think that they changed it? Oh, great. So all my knowledge is just wrong? That's great. They have no leader on the left flank. They've got 14 and 12. I mean, if we want to, like, explain it, or, like, look into it, if you hover over this, next tactic change in 17 days, the following tactics can be used. Those percentages get modified by... It used to get modified by good generals. The likelihood of choosing a good tactic. Like, not having a leader just makes it, you know, kind of all over. 20, 2020, 13.3, 26.6. So that's getting modified by, like, the composition of the army or something like that. Well, let's just see how we do. Uh, we are still ahead by about 700 troops. Left flank is in battle. It is routed. Right flank is routed. Double center route flank. Go, go, get him, get him! Duke Leopold of Nordgau has the usurped title. Fair enough. We're holding the center. We're good. We win. Lord Mayor. Okay. People keep dying. Characters died. My acquaintance met somebody. Okay. I need an advisor. Ooh, this guy's possessed. Seems reasonable. I shall choose the possessed man. One war score for that battle. Hell yeah. Let's go route and pursue this army. I'm I'm still quite sad that I, I died already. Our character was awesome. Can't believe we died to a drunk, you know? It's just not fair. But it's fine, because now we're King Wilhelm and we're gay. And that makes things awesome. Uh, burn the mare? Sure. Always trust your uh, trust your court chaplain. He he tells the truth. Always. He would never lie to you. He he has no ulterior motive whatsoever. I swear. I think we're capped on war score from battles, so time to do a couple more sieges. Captured some dude. Could recruit him. He does have 14 marshal. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's a brilliant strategist, so sure. Let's, let's recruit him. Let's get our siege leader back in charge. Do a couple more sieges. Some news from China. Our birthday's coming up in two months. Hopefully we get a good trait. 
Magdeburg prospers. Is that our capital duchy? Our capital province? Yes. That's cool. I would like to do some more like upgrades of our holdings, but I wanted to build fancy things. Like the big huge buildings and stuff. The Regency has ended. I have finished my education in the ways of war. It is a fascinating subject. We are only a tough soldier, unfortunately. I like to play hard and talk straight. I have no time for nonsense. We lose the trait rowdy and we become honest. Well, at least we'll be able to tell, he, tell our partners what we like in the bedroom. Uh, I guess we need to find a wife. I mean... We have to. We'll, we'll just go with, you know, what... What, <laughs> what makes most sense. I mean, if you have to marry a... A woman, when you're gay, you, you prefer strong or brawny. Let's use the uh, character finder, actually. How about genius? No geniuses? Damn. How about quick? All right, got a 19-year-old quick one. Marrying a House de Mont Monferrato is negative 300 prestige. I think it'd still be negative 300 if I invite her to court first. I robust? Is robust a uh, a trait now? I don't see it. This one will work. We'll pay the prestige. We gotta gotta get a woman. We're about to gain prestige anyway for um, winning this war. Ruler is uncrowned. A Catholic ruler who has not been officially crowned by a notable member of the church will never be fully accepted. Can I get a crown? We can welcome the Jews back. Yeah, let's do that. I'll pay the money for that. My dad was not a very nice man. Organize a coronation. Need to be at peace to get coronated. We can expel the Jews again. <laughs> For net profit. <laughs> we can shut the gates, I guess, because there's some sort of disease somewhere or something? I don't know. Also, we have a massive, wow, four Marshall score. We're dull? What? This character isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. <laughs> So we're a dull, uh, legitimized bastard homosexual, but we like, we like the sex. <laughs> we're really into it. Died in the dungeons. Wait, is this kills from me? I didn't kill this dude, did I? I guess I technically killed people. Did my, uh, weapon get equipped yet? No, it did not. Seems like that should probably be automatic. Okay, time to choose an ambition. Make a friend, become exalted among men, groom an heir. Well, right now our half-brother is going to turn 16 in a year, so it's probably a pretty good, easy ambition. If we just choose groom an heir, we'll be more fertile. <laughs> Why not? I want to groom an heir. And our focus shall be... What? Hunting? I mean, we're not going to be like the military commander that our father was. It's unlikely. <laughs> Seduction? <laughs> we could be a... We could be a <laughs> seducing gay man. <laughs> I don't think you can target men who are not gay, unfortunately. I've messed with that before. As much as you'd like to be able to, like, seduce straight men and try to convert them into gays, it doesn't work. Uh, I mean, there are certain... Yeah, there's, like, a society... We could do societies to maybe improve our traits. I think we'll do... Let's do business focus. We need to learn how to, like, manage money. Important. Gotta kind of, like, average out our stats. They're not very good. 
Designated regent shall be the marshal. Why not? I trust him. He won't do anything bad, right? New master of the horse? Sure, it could be you. Seneschal? I'm sure that guy. We do lack some commanders, so let's just get people assigned, even if they have bad stats, just for the extra 10 opinion. Alright, we're one siege away. Um, we've won our war, congrats. We gained the Kingdom of Italy. We have a new heir, apparently. We're over the vassal limit. We need an advisor. I guess I will choose... Do for now, it's fine. New important decisions are available. We can organize our coronation. Uh, to form the Holy Roman Empire, we need to have a thousand prestige and personal wealth of 500 gold. I guess we'll get coronated first. Send for the most powerful bishop in the realm. Who doesn't like me. This guy likes me better. Any other powerful bishop in the realm will be offended if you snub a minor prelate. Well, but what if he doesn't want to do it because he doesn't like me? Here, do you want some money? Oh, you greedy, greedy priest. 60 opinion? You're easy. Easy, man. Create the HRE? Yeah, to create the HRE, we need to get our prestige a little bit higher. Alright, so we're over our vassal limit. We just gained all of, like, the Italian area. Um, none of that land is held by me directly, though. We're just over the vassal limit, which means we've got to bury some counts underneath duchies. We've got two kingdoms. We've got the Duchy of Saxony. So it looks like probably one of these duchies over here. We use the kingdom map mode. This is all part of Frisia anyway. So he's going to probably form the kingdom of Frisia. I'll grant him Ostfriesland. Transfer vassalage. Duke. Count of Ostfriesland. Can't do it. Because why? Oh, because there's a scroll list. Oh, hey boy. And these two as well. This is at 33 vassal limit. Yeah, makes them powerful. I like powerful vassals personally. I like vassals who are good at, like, fending them, fending their own. Oh, you know what? Let's just try to raise centralization. We got support for it. Let's get that done. I should have done that with the previous character. To the excellent King Wilhelm of Germany, I shall be honored to officiate His Majesty's coronation, provided that His Majesty donates a sizable sum of money to the church. Uh, you suck. I already gave you money, you greedy son of a bitch. Oh my god, now I have to spend more money? Now that I have a distinguished member of the Catholic clergy to officiate, I need to go bankrupt. Send invitations to all of your vassals, as well as any neighboring Catholic kings, to join you for the greatest feast of the century. Well, I mean, we're not very smart. So when the... <laughs> when our steward approaches us and says, Sir, we have no money, we don't know what that means. Spend all of it. All of the money. <laughs> I'll be a few more days before I'm crowned. Organizing such a great ceremony has given me the chance to know better some of my vassals. Maintaining healthy relationships with all of my subjects is a good idea. This is just a mayor, though. I don't want to be friends with a mayor. I mean, is he gay? If he was gay, I would probably do it. He's not, though. I'm not going to be friends with that dude. Meeting new rulers and exchanging ideas about politics and royal virtues has been an interesting consequence of the ceremony. Gain stewardship or gain diplomacy? Cool. Uh, let's gain some diplomacy. We're not very smart, but we're diplomatic. We're one of those people that's like, no street smarts, and everyone knows you're kind of stupid, but you're just so affable, you know? You're just, you're just fun to be around. You, you make everyone else laugh and stuff, and you know, you know what I'm talking about? That kind of guy. Everyone just wants to hang out. This is the, the, the guy that, you know, should throw parties. I kneel before Cardinal Iacopo as a host of vassals surround us in complete silence. The Cardinal blesses me. And we are now 
blessed with extra extravagant coronation until 65. 20 years of vassal opinion plus 10. That's pretty strong. All right. Cool. People like us now. We can search for Smith even though we have negative monies. How are we still? I'm confused. Didn't I raise centralization? Oh, derp. I'm dumb. <laughs> Low centralization is not vassal limit plus five, it's vassal limit minus five, because you're going from ten to five. Wh which mod was it in EU4 that, like, kind of did this better? The one that would actually say, like, the difference when you take the decision, rather than just saying what the modifier is. Because I totally misread that. I actually made the problem worse. Well done, Arumba. That's smart. 